Overkill. Major overkill. Oh, it would have been gold. Oh, well. Alright, apparently I got two animals here. Huh. Well, this is the one that I shot at for sure. Had diamond potential, a little bit off, but nice. Got a gold. But what was this one? Actually shoot another of these right now? I don't remember shooting one, but maybe I did. Okay. I guess I got the female on the run. Hello and welcome back everyone. Um, this is kind of a nice surprise. It's been a while. So today we are in the Hunter Call of the Wild and I've been doing some checking and the last time I was actually in here playing the game and recording for people to uh, watch the videos is way back in Thanksgiving of last year. So that's been what, like four, six months, five, five, six months. Anyways, besides the perk video which I put out, I haven't been putting any other time in on uh, Call of the Wild as far as like filming. Whoa, filming is concerned. Uh, I have actually done uh, another hunt. Um, besides what you just saw at the beginning, there is me coming in with the, uh, the um, wildebeest. I have something else I would like to show a little bit later from a previous hunt I did probably a few weeks ago uh, that I was recording just for the sake of recording, but I was hunting just because of hunting. I wasn't like. Uh, talking or anything during it and stuff, but I actually got a nice little surprise in that one there, but uh, I may show a couple clips of that if I, uh, besides the one I'm thinking of, depending on what I remember as I go back through and edit the video when I get, get ready to do it, but In the meantime, uh, what you're seeing right now is the fact that I, if you look closely and you realize down the bottom right-hand corner, I don't have my HUD up. I, I've also turned off my tracks and everything. I've turned off my audio cue. I have disabled everything. Today, I am going out here to do as close to a realistic hunt as possible. You know what? I should probably got my dog before I wandered off. Maybe I'll go back and do that before I get too far. Um, but this is going to be a realistic hunt. For the most part, I'm going to try to do the best I can. And my intention is to head down here to the shoreline, as uh, you see right here. And I'm going to wander on down around to the right and down around the the coastline there. Um, and this is starting from a place I don't normally come to all that often. I usually I start hunting over there and stuff. So I want to try something different for a change. But um, let me go find my dog real quick and uh, get started in this hunt. Maybe shoot a couple birds. 
Oh, right here. What was he just doing right there? Can I get him? Nope. <laughs> or her. <laughs> oh well. Alright, let's go get my dog. First off, it's been a while and I haven't got to show you guys this. This is my uh, other dog. This is my retriever. This is Sadie. Named Sadie after a cat that I had a long, long time ago. She's my favorite cat, but obviously, cat, it's not a dog, but the name fit and I got myself a little female uh, Labrador Retriever here. She's uh, done a lot of good work for me um, when I was making the perks video. I was hunting a lot of geese and everything and uh, she was doing a lot of the retrieving. So, hi Sadie, good girl. But I just want to show you guys off or show you off to everybody and you're doing magic tricks on me. But I'm going to go ahead and put you back for right now. I'm going to pull out Rascal so we can do some tracking. So, have a good rest Sadie. See you in a little bit. Alright Rascal, let's get to work. Let's get down here. Let's go find some animals. Come on, boy. Well, apparently this early in the morning, the uh, the animals in question that are out and about uh, appear to be the birds, the ducks. I saw one land over this way, um, but I don't see where it's at right off. It's probably in the thick grass up here. So I'm going to try to sneak in and see if maybe I can get one of them real quick. Um... If I'm lucky, it'll probably most likely fly off on me, but we'll see. They gotta be on the other side of this uh, grass over here, because... Oh, apparently I'm spotting one. Oh, is that him on the shore there? Yeah, that's a little head poking out right there. Is this another one over here? No, I don't see. Can I get one in the head like this from this distance? Uh, may, ooh, there they go, flying away. Well, definitely spooked the ones, but is there still one over there? I imagine it wouldn't be, but I guess it's a possibility. Early morning sunrise is pretty beautiful out here, though. Shining across the water, the little river here. Alright, is this... Did I get it? Yes, I did. I did get myself a duck. What did I get? Got a Eurasian widgeon. Female. A little silver. Headshot. Look at that. Wow, right in the beak. <laughs> well, whatever you can do, right? Whatever you can do. Hey there, pooch. There's something that's over this way. I don't see anything, but never thought I'd come to Africa to hunt uh, waterfowl. I think this actually may be one of the first times of me ever doing it, believe it or not, but... Oh, more ducks. Um, let's see if I can sneak in. All right, I, I am definitely trying not to spot them. So, I'm not sure which ones are going to be what here. I don't know the sizes. Got to go with the colors. Um, these look like they might be widgeons also. Especially from the, the call, the one that I got. I don't remember what the colors are though right off. I think, I think they're probably female, female. Is this male right here? Honestly, I don't know. I guess I should just go ahead and pick one and call it a day. I think that's a female right there, though. So, this one. Man, I, I haven't hunted them in a while. I really don't know. Let's see what happens here. Well, I think I got one. But I don't see anything floating right there. Huh. Yeah, I don't see anything floating in the water right here. 
Am I like... Did I completely miss it, I guess? Huh. I guess I just missed it. Well, that's a shame. I thought it, I hit it and it went under whatever. I didn't see it fly off from right there, but... Oh, well. What are you going to do? Rascal's having fun in the water. Okay, well, let's continue on. Maybe I can find myself some bigger game. Yeah, I looked at the hunter mate here, and the only spot I got back there for a uh, down animal is the one that was way back there, the first uh, bird I got. So, yeah, completely whiffed that one for whatever reason. I was going to say, the ducks were going insane in my ear again, but uh, looks like they're finally landing out here. What one should I try for again at this point, since I still haven't seen anything but them? Go for one with, I guess, more of a red hair head. I think that would be best. Maybe this guy. He looks like a nice one. Let's see if I can do any better this point. That one looks like I got him for sure. That's a floater. Uh, is that a widget taken off? Uh oh. Doesn't matter, but looks like I finally got myself another duck. Something else to, to claim for the hunt. As long as it comes in. Wow, that thing's making a lot of noise. Where are you at, buddy? Where'd you go? Well, uh, what in the world? Oh, I definitely got one because the map's indicating I was hit out there, but where in the world is it? Can you find it, Rascal? Has it floated in over here already? Oh, confirmed trophy. Where, where? Right there! Oh, dig it! Wow! It floated in pretty quickly. Good job, rascal. Way to go. Thanks, buddy. You helped me out. Alright, did I get a mail? I did! I got a silver. Okay. Got it in the collarbone for a uh, duck. <laughs> and in this case, the furcula. So, yeah. Redder head, male duck. That's what I gotta be paying attention to. All right. Well, at least I claimed that something else again. But I don't know. I guess maybe it's just too early. I just figured that down along the way here, I'd see something. Maybe not water buffalo. I mean, not water buffalo, like cape buffalo. But um, I was hoping maybe. But maybe I just honestly, I don't pay too much attention to the time of the day for when everything drinks. I just go out to hunt for the sake of hunting. And I was hoping that anything would be out here. Warthogs. Um, Gemsbach, uh, wildebeests, wa uh, water buffalo, any of that, or cape buffalo. I keep saying water buffalo. Cape buffalo. So I'm just hoping to find something besides waterfowl. Hopefully. But if not, like I said, I've got the uh, the other video clip I can show you to hopefully uh, have a little bit more spice to the, the session.
Oh. Well, that kind of spoiled it for me, but there we go. Got some animals moving in out there. It looks like a couple of Cape Buffaloes. Um, let's see if I can get closer before they spook. 300 out, approximately. Not sure what direction they're heading, but let me try to move inland on them. Alright, well, this may be difficult because uh, since I'm not spotting them to do any outlines or anything on them, or to get an idea of what how large they are, uh, these shadows, they've moved on me. I'm not exactly sure where they're at right now. I'm, I don't have even... The, oh, maybe there they are. There they are. I finally got something to indicate where they might be at. So they might still be up there, but I wasn't 100% sure because I couldn't see them before that little notification. Hmm. All right, I finally cleared all the tall grass. Let's see if I can see anything again or not. I don't see them right off by their outlines, their size or anything. I think they still might be moving on. Okay, I'm getting close, I think, to this spot. I think they might be on the other side of this hill if they haven't, like, completely wandered off. But just in case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my, uh, the Sarugi, which is, uh, my big game weapon this time around. Actually, I've come to like this after doing a lot of the testing out with my uh, perks video, and I've been doing some other hunts with it. Kind of like this a lot, actually. The uh, the bolt action nature of it, and I'm just been having fun. So, anyways, yeah, prepping up for this here. Hopefully, I don't know if they'll be like right here on the other side of this hill, but if they are, at least maybe I can take a shot on before they bolt if they're like right here. If they're not already like wandered off and gone. Yep, I'm not seeing anything. Right about now, it would be really nice if Rascal could track without needing blood see that's uh, like a downside here of this game um, after doing the uh, hunting simulator 2 and be able to you know set your dog your tracker out there on an animal to go find a track that's a, like a big downfall for a call of the wild I, I think they need to be able to enable that besides just doing it on blood this way it help you find game and you can kind of like track it like you should, like you're supposed to. So I'm going to guess that they kind of maybe headed this direction. So let me just, I guess, get up and, and continue walking. Maybe I'll get an audio call from them or something, but maybe I'll stumble in on them too. There we go. Over that way. Oh, right there. Well, they're giving me a bunch of warning calls of some sort. They might have, like, fled, though, because of it. That sounds like a pig. A warhog over that direction. That does not sound like a uh, cape buffalo. And I'm not sure what direction my scent's going right now. I don't even see anything on the breeze. Well, I am not seeing any Cape Buffalo right here. So either they ran or it was the Warthog that was giving a call. And I'm not sure where that's at right now either. The difficult time of, well, if I'm going to do a Warthog, I think i got to switch to at least this one. But the difficult, difficulty of doing it as a realistic hunt and not being able to use any aids to guide you exactly where they're at and what you're doing. Other than 
the unfortunate aspect of those tracking calls. And a spotting outline. Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. But let's see if we can't. Uh, Got to redo my breath. We can't get this here before. All right, dropped it. Oh, there's another one right there. Surprise! Yeah, it's it's running. Oh, and up there is another one. Oh, a few more. There we go. Well, that would have been nice to see, I guess. But I got one down. Let's go pick it up. All right, here we go. Oh, something's uh up there. Not happy with me. Let me see if I can sneak up in here and spot one before I uh, claim this guy. Or gal, or whichever it may be. Oh, I hear it. I hear him. They're coming back. Oh, it's getting loud. It's getting loud. Where you guys at? It should be like coming out like quick. Where are you? I do not see anything. Well, they saw me. Let's see if I can run up and find one. They're going this way. Oh, there's another one over here. Where are you guys at? Where are you guys at? Whoa! Hello. Oh! Oh! Charging me. Running me down. Well, that one's down. Alright. Well, what do we get with this? Surprise guest. Looks like it's uh, What is that? A, a red-brown or something? Yep. Red-brown. little bronze... Right through the whole thing, little female. Nice little surprise on your part there, girl. Alright, let's get back and get this other one. Hi, Rascal. What you doing, buddy? Um, which was where? It was over here. Here we go. We found her. Alright, good. And it is her. Another red-brown. Got her through the left and right lung. All right, well, what you get for not seeing things, spotting it, and the shadows and everything makes it really, really difficult to tell. But it's still a fun hunt, I guess. I guess I could have tried getting closer. But Man, this tall grass just makes it really, really difficult to like see if there's anything even remotely out there. But while I'm working my way through this here, I don't remember everything that I got on that previous hunt. I do know that it wasn't a realistic hunt like this. It had uh, all my senses up and everything that I could spot stuff with. But as I'm trying to look around for something else to find, let me see if I can get you a little clip out of that one here to you know, pass the time of getting another animal. Okay, we have something over that way. Kemsbach. Is it Kemsbach? No, that might be a, uh, a kudu. I, again, cannot see. I just heard it before I got the confirmation with the track call. Um, You know what? If that is a kudu, let's try calling in with this. Well, I'm not sure what we got, but it looks like there's something sitting here. There's a track. There's a disturbed bed right here. So there was something right here. Did it run off that way? Let's 
see anything. Nothing was coming in from the call. I think that was me coming in, right? Yeah, that was me right there. So, I don't know. I don't know what to say right now. Another uh, zone. This one, I think, is a natural zone, so I'm going to claim that right now. Lesser kudu. So that was a kudu that was uh, up here. Seven of them, apparently. But that's just claiming it for strictly for my map. Well, cutting across the land. Didn't get to see any more big game yet again, but I do see a lot of waterfowl. A little more ducks out there. There's, I think there's probably some over this way, too, because uh, they're giving their little squeals and quacks. But nothing big yet, either. This is kind of sad. <laughs> I was hoping to get some big game along the shoreline, but nothing. Nothing doing. I think there's a... Uh, yeah, right over here is something for me to go check on. Let me go over here. It's probably just... Oh, there it is right there. It's a little rock formation of some sort. Point of interest. And so what is so interesting about this point? Uh, Naya Minyama. Okay, you can read that on your own there. <laughs> but there you go. Unlock something else that I hadn't had before. Okay. Ducks across the way. I wonder if I could try to pop one off from here again. I don't see anything else over that way. And they are about 150. With the heat haze going. I think that's I think that's the male. That's a male. Maybe. Well, let's see if I can get a little closer here. All right, I don't have my range zeroing uh, at all, not even like you know to, to use because I didn't get that perk, so I haven't re-enabled it. Uh, guessing 80 is the normal, or no, 50, 50, 80. I think it's 50 normal. So I'm gonna have to try to shoot a little bit higher and see if oh, way too high. That would have probably gotten it, but oh well. I'm not doing my turkey hunting I did a while back. Um, are, are you coming towards me? No, you're going away, aren't you? Yeah, you're you're definitely going away. They're flying all over the place. Oh well, it was worth it. Just try to take a, a pop shot. But let's move on around. Well, I thought I heard something over there. I didn't see any like actual audio cue, but. If I have another animal besides my big one from the previous hunt, I'll show you guys that right now. Oh, we have a cooter right there. A little female. Um, you by yourself? Doesn't sound like it. Oh, up there, up there, up there. Just a couple more females. Well, you know what? Let's take a couple shots. See if I think I got at least the one. But let's see if I got another one or not. All right, well that's good blood. Um, well I didn't mean to hit it, but I could definitely tell that that was good blood. It went off this way, it looks like. Yeah, there's more blood right there. Should I put Rask on it, or should I try to find it on my own? 
I think I may still need to put Rascal on it. Because I'm losing the tracks now. Even though, oh wait, it's still this way? Grass is matted down. Yeah, it's not waste time. Rascal, go look, buddy. Go find. Well, that's good blood. I wish it was like Way the Hunter, which would point a direction for you to actually follow it. Oh, well, there you go. Good job, Rascal. Alright, well, little girly. Little girly. Right longer. Now, did I get another one? That's the question. Thought I might have got a good hit on a second one as it was running, but I really don't know. I'm guessing not. Rascal's not getting any indication that there's any more blood out here. Alright. Well, that's a shame. But, another animal, some more money, which I can always still use. Okay, we're going to head... Oh, I could probably head up a little high here to get a good vantage point. See if there's anything I can see out there or not. But I think I'm going to still continue heading that direction. I want to try to, like, get back down towards the shoreline. But I am, again, running out of time here. So, for now, uh, do I show you guys the, uh, the animal or not? Do I show it to you or not? Hmm. I'm going to hold off in case I don't find anything. The reason I'm saying that is because my family, once again, is... Oh, another animal call. My family should be getting home soon again, like usual. And if I don't find another good animal between now and then, I'd like to be able to like end it with uh, what I did get. Uh, I'm not seeing anything out here, though. I'm not sure what was giving me the noise. Probably ran off. Oh, well, we have that one kudu. Looks like she headed down to the beach. Looks like she's uh, solitary on her own. Nothing was going down that direction for. So, there you go. I have another uh, point of interest up here to check out that I haven't identified before. So, hey, could do some exploring today. What can you say? Sand Folklore the second or two. All right. Um, again, if you want to, you can pause it and read that. But let's uh, move down and hopefully, like I said, find at least one more animal here before I call it quits for this hunt. Oh. What was that? Was that another uh, kudu? Get ready just in case it is. Here, I hear it, I hear it. Where's it at? Oh, sand strike right there. I don't see it though. Right there, right there, right there. Oh, hello. Spring box. And that's down. There was another one back there too I saw, but that's fine. This one will do. Not a huge one, but I think that's still a male. And it is. Oh, it's a gold. Oh, hard shot at it. Nice. Nice. 61.4. Yeah, it's a ways off. I didn't think it was that big, but I guess it was it was decent sized. Well, not not too shabby. Not too shabby. I dig it.
So that's pretty good. Um, I think, though, on that note, let me show you the uh, the big one from my previous hunt. Um, and if I continue to find anything else after this fact, I don't know. But let me show you the big one from my previous hunt that I was like really kind of surprised, shocked, and really stoked to get. So without further ado, here you go. What we got over there? That looks looks like a rabbit to me, but that's a huge, huge rabbit if that's the case. That's what that is. It's a big bunny at almost 300 yards out there. 
Wow. Anyway, so, yeah, that was a special pride and joy for me to get on that previous hunt, and I am so happy about it. Obviously, I haven't gotten anything at all remotely like it during this hunt, and uh, even though I may still probably do a little bit more hunting after I um, sign off here, uh, I don't expect to get anything quite like it either, but I wanted to share it. It was a happy moment for me, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the, the, that, seeing that. I hope you enjoyed this hunt, and... Uh, yeah, the next one you'll see will be my um, my anniversary video for uh, hunting on Mississippi and Silver Ridge Peaks. But until then, I wish you guys all the best. Um, take care. Happy hunting. God bless. Bye. We have my buffalo. One in the backpack that looks like it might be a pretty decent size. All right, let's sneak on down. Oh, that one sensed me? It's not too bad. It's a pretty decent size red brown. Or brown, whatever. That one right there, like I said, is a nice big one, it looks like as well. I think there's one back there too. Hmm. That one's small. This one's definitely bigger. That one looks pretty, like I said, pretty big right there as well. Almost like this one. The rest I can't see clearly. That one doesn't look to be that huge from this angle. I think the red's actually still bigger than that one. But there's one back there in the back that I can't tell. Yeah, now you guys are getting attention on me, aren't you? See, that one right there, I was kind of wondering about. But I still think there's the one back behind this guy right here. I think the red one's the big one still, from what I can tell. Like, other than that one that's behind this guy right here, behind him. Of course, he actually looks pretty good now. He's shaking his head, too. Alright, I got my Lotham scope. One I really don't like at all. Try to get a better close-in view of these guys. Yeah, the red still looks bigger. I was trying to look down here to see if I can tell male versus female. I don't see udders right off. Yeah, I think now that that one's moved, I mean, it looks pretty decent still, but I, for some reason this red one over here still seems like the biggest thing. Now, if this guy can move out of the way, I can get a nice broadside. Okay. Looks about the same as the red, I think. All right, well... This guy's moved out of the way. Let's see if I can get over here and get a good angle on it. That guy hasn't turned around, but I'm not sure if that's any bigger than this guy over here. Alright, let's see if we can stick it in here. It's coming right at me. Ah, out of the way. Ouch. Just drop already. I don't want to do a third shot because I don't know what your score is, so... Let's go track in, Rascal. Oh. I just see that the uh, Hunter May has purple showed up back there, so it did drop, but it doesn't look like it was a good hit. Because, uh... took a bit here. So... We'll see. Let's see what happens when I get up to it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
You were a surprise. Just drop already. Wow. What did I get? A little silver female. All right, I'm coming, rascal. I'm coming. Where you at? There you are. All right, let's see what we got here with this one. It's a female. That's a bummer. I was trying to look down here, but I didn't see any udders or anything. So I was hoping it was a male, but wow, two flesh shots on this thing. That's sad. That's really sad because I thought for sure. Well, I mean, it was going the right direction there, but just no penetration on it at all. Not a good weapon, this Surugi for the uh, Cape Buffalo. But best she would have been was a silver anyways. Oh, uh, well. Still nice to say that I got myself a uh, Cape Buffalo during the hunt. Still, that's kind of fun. You have noisemakers out there. Oh, big old squealer running that direction. Can I see it and spot it to get it? That way, that way, that way. And... Let's see if that was a luck shot or not. Oh, hold up the hunter, mate, and uh, it looks like I got it. <laughs> nice. Well, now to see what it is that I got. I'm guessing female. I'm going to guess the female war hog. It's just been my luck today. Is this it? Right here? It is. Another red-brown. Oh, it's a male this time. Oh, and it's a gold. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Meant to do that. Meant to do that. <laughs> Total skill. <laughs> Look at the tusks on him. That's pretty sweet. Not too shabby. Nice. Bet you if you head off that direction, you'll go and get yourself to a uh, fishing hole over in Africa. <laughs> the point of interest, this one looks like a lookout spot, though. Interesting and weird at the same time. Gorgeous hiking. More reading. Fish poaching is strictly prohibited. Keep away from water edge, water's edge. Crocodiles. Really? Where's the crocodiles out here in Africa? You need to add them. Put them out here, please. 